Hey guys, this is Tiffany with the Nerdettes, and I'm here with a huge comic haul from uh, my local comic book store, Infinity Flux. And as you can see, I had to fit it in this thing. Look at it. I get a lot of questions about how I store my comic books, and this is actually how. Um, like comic in action, comics in action, I think is the name, uh, boxes. And this is just the one I picked up from Infinity Flux because they're amazing and they're awesome and they take care of me. Even though this past maybe two to three weeks I've been horribly sick and then July was my birthday and I went to a con and it was crazy and but Infinity Flux still took care of me. So I went and finally got all my comics and this is going to be a very, very huge haul just to warn you so you know what you're getting yourself into. So... Here we go. It's amazing. Oh wow. Goodness gracious. Okay. So first things first. Um, they actually gave me uh, some free pens, which I love. They gave me two of them, and they're fantastic. Four. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Kind of see it. They gave me two of them for free because they're awesome. And so I'm gonna go through here. Yeah. Uh, so first thing I'm going to show you is the DC Hanna-Barbera book. I love these crossovers, so of course it makes sense that I would have them. And um, just to kind of give you an example, there's some Flintstones love. I've got to love it. Um, I kind of... Ooh, dang, look at that. So cool. Oh, i got to love this stuff. So let's see here. I thought I wanted to see if they... I bet you there's like a... Like if it's anything like the DC one, there is like a, a thing in the back. There's not. Hmm. Let me see where. I'm trying to see if there's like a. Hmm. I don't know. But yeah. So basically, all the mashups are here in this book, and it's really awesome. I'm excited to have it. So thrilled because it's amazing. Okay, let me scoot this. Okay. What's next? Oh. <laughs> So they had a group collection of Red Sonia issues one through seven, uh, the She Devil with a Sword that I had to pick up. Um, they just happened to have them, and I grabbed them. So here we go. And go through these really quick. So here's number one. So cool. Number two. Love that. Number three. So cool. Number four. Look how amazing. Oh, I'm so excited to have these. This is amazing. Uh, number five. So awesome. <clears throat> number six. And, last but not least, number seven. Wee! So happy! But yeah, I had to get all of them because uh, they had them for sale in bulk. And I just happened to catch it before I left. So, of course, I went and grabbed them. Much love to my buddy, Area 51, because I know you're a huge Red Sonia fan. But these are just just so happened to be an infinity flux so i got them because they're amazing you should check them out if you haven't already go to the website uh go to facebook infinity flux they're on facebook they're amazing they're in hickson tennessee and i go there all the time because they really do spoil me rotten so i'm just gonna kind of go through the things that were in my pull box these are not in order at all this is just kind of as i got them so this is isola i've been collecting this and really been loving it. The artwork, the story, it's been fantastic. So yeah, there's that. <clears throat> then, the, just some, uh, I always like to get random new ones just to check them out. So we have Outpost Zero. We have She Could Fly. Now, um, Megan at Infinity Flux, who is amazing. You should tell her you love her because she's amazing. So that this is actually really good, so I'm excited to check it out. Then um, I was actually excited to see these, so and they they made sure to put them in my box for me. They came out with special uh, Walking Dead covers. They they have been coming out with them. I don't know if you've seen them for Rick, 
for Andrea, for Carl. Uh, there have been quite a few. I want the Negan one so bad. Anyway, so this is Maggie's. Pretty epic. I just love that kind of, it gives me the Doors vibe. Anybody else? Is it just me? Am I crazy? I don't know. Anyway, then we have the Glenn one. Look at this hat. Kind of reminds me of the Watchmen, but more sinister, which, I mean, considering his story, appropriate. But yeah, pretty cool. I was excited. This is uh, the uh, Hot Lunch Special number one. I don't know. It looked interesting. It looks like a bloody hand in there. I love some old school horror and I love getting surprised. So just figured I'd check it out. Next is Artifact 1 number 0 issue. Look at that artwork. It's, it's just so vivid and vibrant and very kind of red and pink and orange with a little hint of uh, blue. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have Superman number one. I, I don't know. Um, they've been reissuing a lot of different things and doing different arcs and everything. So figured I might as well pick it up. Gotta love some Superman. And then. Oh yeah. So I love Star Wars obviously. So had to pick up Star Wars Beckett. Just check it out. Pretty excited. Then. Oh, oh, oh. Don't fall. Stay. Okay. Then, of course, this is something I've been thrilled to see coming out. Uh, Executive Assistant Iris. I think that's number four, right? Yes, number four. There's that. Then, of course, another one I've been really looking forward to. Pearl, number one. Uh, yeah. Pretty excited to check that out. Oop, stay. Okay. Then, Flash number 53 uh, lately the flash has been really surprising me so I've been picking it up when I can uh, stay and then of course uh, of, of course if you know me this is in my pull box uh, I think this is a 12 issue yeah 12 issue miniseries this is number seven of Raven daughter of darkness I love this cover I really love this cover uh, I don't know. Of all the covers, this is probably one of my top two favorites, I'd say, actually. Stay. Okay. Then, oh, I love this comic. I've loved collecting it so far. This is Jim Henson's Labyrinth Coronation. This is number six, and I get uh, the uh, variants and stuff, so these those may be mixed in here somewhere, so I apologize if you see it again. It just may be a different color, just because that's how I am. If you know me, you know I collect variants, so let me... Ooh, sorry to shake that. I'm putting those down to the side here so they don't fall. Stay. Okay. Then we have Witchblade number seven. Eee! And Batman number 51. Now this is really out of order. So I apologize in advance. The, all these comics are crazy out of order. But I promise it'll all be okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Oh gosh, ow. I hit my elbow. Okay, Amazing Spider-Man number one. Again, with like the interesting spin-offs and arcs and one-offs and stuff. So, there's that. Captain America number two. Look at that. Catwoman number two. Again, crazy out of order. What does this say? A game of copycat and mouse. Hmm. Is that, that's a bunch of Catwomans. That looks kind of interesting. Okay. This is Flash number 52. Looks pretty epic. Gotta love that. <clears throat> then we have Medieval Spawn and Witchblade, which I'm thrilled to be collecting. Number four. Check that out. Looks so epic. Okay. Batman number 53. Dark Knight No More. Ooh. And you can kind of see, I, I know you can't really see it here, but a silhouette of Batman and Catwoman uh, kissing right there. Then we have, of course, George R. R. Martin, Clash of Kings, uh, Song of Ice and Fire, Book 2. Look at that rainbow cape, man. Dang. I just now saw that. That's pretty awesome. I did not see that before. 
Okay, next, I told you there was a lot. Next we have Spider Geddon number one, or excuse me, Edge of Spider Geddon number one. And with uh, the new Spider Man game coming out and the Spider Man PS4 and all that, this is of course a half to buy. So, pretty excited. Uh, then we have this extermination number one. I mean, I'm really intrigued to check that out. Look at that. So cool. Okay, then we have Doomsday Clock number six. I love this cover. Just absolutely adore this cover. Look at that. So cool. Then we have Labyrinth. This is number six as well. Labyrinth Coronation. So this is probably one of the covers. Uh, this is Flash number 51. Look at those boots. My goodness. Yeah. Pretty cool. Okay. Now. Oh wait, there's more. We're not done. Okay, Double Jumpers number one. This kind of gives me a Castlevania or like a like a NES or SNES uh, vibe. And down there it says Danger Zone. Danger zone. Look at it. Danger zone. So funny. But so cool. I don't know. I, I'm intrigued to check that out. Uh, this is Labyrinth Coronation number five. Again, totally out of order. But that's just what happens when you go forever without getting your pull box. My gosh. I feel so bad. This is number 52 of Batman. It's Batman versus Bruce Wayne. Got some Michael Jackson man in the mirror in my head now. Uh, Labyrinth Coronation number five again. The yeah, other cover. Catwoman number one. This is one of the covers. And now I love this because she's actually holding the Batman number 50 comic in her hand, which is kind of interesting. Pretty funny, gotta say. Uh, this is Captain America number one. Again, crazy out of order, but I love this cover look at that it just gives you those like wartime poster throwback feels and oh, I love that so cool okay then we have pumpkin head number five gotta love that then we have medieval spawn and witchblade number three again crazy out of order but it's still awesome oh and like I told you really out of order the one, the only, Batman number 50, The Wedding. There it is, in all its greatness. You are cordially invited. Yes. Of course I got it. Okay, Cosmic Ghost Rider number one. Now this cover, man, it is epic. Look at that. I mean, yeah. Look at this. Ooh, pretty cool. Uh, Flash number 50. Extra sized anniversary issue. The Fury of the Speed Force. Fury! It's too fast, too furious. You're welcome. I might like Fast and the Furious a little bit. Alright then, next. Moving on. Wonder Woman, The Dark Gods, number 50. Ooh, that's pretty epic. She's on a Pegasus with her lasso. And then, of course, I know a lot of you are co collecting this. This is the Crow Memento Mori number four. Pretty awesome. And then, and then, we have uh, Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps number 50. Or the corpse, however you want to say it. Everybody has a different way of saying it. Tomato, tomato. There you go. Then, we have Infinity Wars Prime number one with... Thanos getting, looks like he's getting, like, stabbed, pierced through the heart, quite literally. Pretty awesome. I love me some Neil Gaiman. So, this is Sandman Universe number one that's been coming out, and I'm excited to see more. This is The Life of Captain Marvel. I wonder who the artist is, because I really like this art. Life of Captain Marvel number one. Really like that artwork. Very cool. And of course, Life of Captain Marvel number two. <laughs> Gotta love that. Okay, next. I know, I know. I told you there's a lot. 
uh, Thor number one. Now this is so epic. I don't, I can't even begin to describe. Look how metal that Thor looks. Just like hardcore death metal, like Thor in your face. Love it. Okay, this is somehow I got Catwoman number one twice, which I am totally cool with because I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway of comics soon and you're going to see. I'm going to do a video for it. I'm going to show you every comic I'm giving away and then some, uh, some just some goodies, some things you won't expect and it'll be really cool. So you'll have to check that out whenever it happens. Alright then, so this is uh, one of my absolute favorite comics here recently. I just love it. Uh, Ice Cream Man. This is number five. Looks like a guy's falling off of a building. And then we have, oh wow, the variant cover right there of Ice Cream Man number five. Look at that. Wow, look at that face. Just the way it's, wow, it's crazy. All right, Ice Cream Man number six. Looks like he's holding up people like a, you know, like a banner, I guess. Neapolitan. Look at that. That was so cool. And then, of course, the uh, variant of that one as well. Uh, still Neapolitan. Ha! Huh, with like a little eyeball. Look at that. Craziness. Huh. Wow. That's pretty epic. I love this comic. Okay. Next we have uh, just something random I picked up. I love this word so much and it just seemed looked like a pretty awesome comic. It is called Gobbledygook. I love that word. Love that word. Looks pretty epic. How did I pick it up? Okay. Next. And I'm almost done. This is like literally the last pile. Let me pull all these out together. Now, before I finish going through all these, you've got to see this receipt. Like, this is why I love Infinity Flux. Like, check this out. Hang on. Look at this. Are you ready? Are you ready? That's the receipt. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> okay. I had to get this. This is the Stranger Things free preview. Um... I mean, I'm so excited and so stoked for this to come out. So, of course, I had to pick up the preview. Uh, then, of course, I mean, J. Scott Campbell, you have to get this. It's the Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows number two variant with, of course, J some J. Scott Campbell artwork. Had to get that. Then we have this epic cover of Thanos number two. Once I flip it over, look at that. That looks so badass. Gotta love that. Oh, and now this is some new stuff coming out. This is Batgirl number 25. And I'm in love with that artwork. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Just the shadow. It looks real. Like, real, real. Like, we look, we both look so real. That's crazy. Look at those eyes. Craziness. So cool. Okay, then we have, of course, Cable and Deadpool number one. Gotta love it. Really thrilled to have this in my collection. What does I say? 30 pages of time traveling. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Anyway, next we have <clears throat> Miss Elvira number one. The Mistress of the Dark. I'm excited to check this out. It just came out perfect in time for the fall and Halloween holiday. So of course I had to pick that up. Oh, speaking of which, Vampirella, Rose, Roses of the Dead, Rose of the Dead, number one. Look at it. You know I love me some Vampirella. Number one, right there. Amazing. So excited. Ah, now getting into the awesome stuff. My favorite they they finally got in like all of their art germ so this is the life of captain marvel number one the art germ variant of course tiffany got it so big shocker there right oh goodness sorry my nose is itching then we have batman 49 also art germ check it out it's so beautiful look at it look at it so beautiful gotta love it 
Oh, now and then this one. There's no no competition. This is Catwoman number one. Also art germ. Mm, look at it. So cool. Catwoman number two, which is a, a really big difference, but still art germ. Look at that. So intense. So cool though. Then, now this comic I absolutely have loved so far. I've only read the first issue, but it's amazing. Uh, it is adult, but I do recommend it. It's called Unnatural. This is number one. I mean, can you tell it's adult? Maybe just a little, just a little bit? There you go. This is Unnatural uh, number one, the variant. I don't know. Check it out. That's amazing. So cool. Then, Unnatural uh, number two. Really awesome. And last but not least of this haul is a natural number two, the Art Germ variant. Which, who would have expected that? Not me, but there it is. Look how adorable this is. Look at this face. Look at this face right there. He's so cute. Look at that face. Look at those teeth. Mm. Like a Looney Tunes or like Rescuers Down Under or something face. Like seriously, look at that face. Look at that face. Channeling some Babs. Some Babs. Lola. Channeling some Lola. Yeah? Yeah? Both of us? Okay. Anyway, that's it for this haul. Oh my goodness, so many comics. So, but yeah, Infinity Flux is amazing. They've really, obviously, hooked me up. Like, no, no, but not, yeah, just like, amazingly. So anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash the nerdettes. And we will see you later. Bye.